fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Ryuko no Geki from Avatar of Sentai Dawn Brothers. This is the main weapon and henshin device for our sixth member of the team, Dawn Dragoku. You can see he's featured very prominently here on the right side of the box. And it does have two modes. We have the spear mode here and then he also has an axe mode over here on the side. And then it does come with the Dawn Dragoku Avataro gear. And you can see right here it boasts that it is 560 millimeters, which is honestly almost two feet long. So this thing's actually pretty impressive for a Sentai roleplay weapon, which are usually on the dinkier side, but this one's actually pretty cool. So really nice artwork here on the front of the box. Up here you can see he does have two modes, and there's a giant QR code there, which I think you can scan to go to the website or something like that for more info. That's not the instructions one. That's just the, like, additional information about the show, character, website type thing. Uh, down here on the bottom, not really much going on, but you will need three AAA batteries, as it denotes right there. Over here on this side of the box, again, you have kind of another picture of Don Dragoku. And then over here on this side, you have his other form. And then spinning it around to the back of the box, you can see the giant spear mode there in all its glory. And you can see the two forms again. It shows you how to switch it to the axe mode. Now, it doesn't come with the gear for his other form. I think that's going to come with the spinner weapon that comes out next month. But it does show you how he has the ability to change into six rangers. Just like the Dawn Brothers have uh, the ability to change into past teams, he gets to turn into the six rangers from past teams. So, pretty excited about that. And this is going to have connectivity with the spinner. Can kind of connect just the way the uh, Zanglas sword can connect to the Dawn Blaster. So... Very, very cool. A lot of cool stuff going on here. Without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this guy out of the box here, and we'll take a closer look. Okay, so here's everything you get in the box. Of course, we have the Ryuko no Geki itself, but we also have the Don Dragoku Avataro gear, so we'll take a close look at that. Really nice artwork here on the front. He's got a really nice gold background, since he's got a primarily gold motif. Some nice chrome around the outside. And then spinning it around to the back, we can see that he is number 84. I think that's not 34, right? No, it's 84. So pretty standard gear. Uh, we're going to put this off to the side and it will come into play a little bit later on. But let's take a look at the Ryuko no Geki itself. It's pretty long, honestly. Like, it's a pretty nice sized weapon. The handle's really long. I can fit two hands around it. Honestly, the reason that this is so long is because it needs space to put the three AAA batteries in here. You have to unscrew this little thing right here, and then this whole piece just kind of slides down and out. And then you put your three AAA batteries in the handle and then pop it back in, screw it back in. Uh, but yeah, it's still, it's a nice size. The top section obviously is very weighty. Sometimes I worry that if you kind of swing it around by this too much that it might eventually crack somewhere just because this side is much bulkier and heavier than the handle is, but so far so good. Motif, really nice, really nice gold here. I really like that quite a bit. You got your button down here, which is gonna do most of your attacks and things. And you got kind of a dragon head going on here, but of course he's wearing sunglasses, which I think is fantastic. And then you have the like blade of the spear and the ax, and it's got some nice light up sections here that we'll take a look at. In this mode, this will be like a dragon. When we switch it, it will be a tiger, and it's very easy to switch. You just press this button right here, and then that will kind of disengage this so that you can swing it down. And then you have the axe mode. I think the axe mode is really successful. I like the look of this a lot. And like I said, it's a nice size. I mean, honestly, it's a pretty decent size axe. Like, if this thing was real, I feel like, you know, it could be a decent movie prop or something like that. Like, if it was, you know, painted normal colors. But I feel like it's a good size. Like, it's actually... It's pretty cool. It's got a little sensor back here that it has compatibility with the spinner like we saw in the back of the box, but also with the Dawn Blaster, so we'll check that out. And then this is where you pop the gear on. Now, this is not a reader. This literally just pops it on, and what happens is when you pop a gear on, it depresses this little button here, and that's how it knows something is attached, and that's how it activates the other sound. So you don't spin anything here. This isn't a reader in any fashion, but you just kind of, when you pop something on there, it depresses that down. So as a result, you can put whatever gear you want on here. It's not going to matter. The way this thing reads gears is by putting them in the Dawn Blaster and then having the connectivity with this. And that's how we're going to get the alternate sounds out of this. So it does make alternate sounds for the other gears, but you have to use the Dawn Blaster. And I'm guessing the spinner later on once that comes out. But yeah, it's still pretty cool. You got the on and off switch right here. So I'm going to go ahead and pop this back into spear mode so we can go ahead and turn it on. Yeah. 
So you can see the illuminated dragon right there. The speaker is, I believe, here it is right here. I was going to say, it's tucked away pretty well. <laughs> and when you have it in spear mode, it's covered up. But it is right there. So if you hit the button now, you just kind of get some generic, you know, uh, spear sounds, I guess, for lack of a better term. Just kind of melee attack sounds. You can hold this down. And you get a nice dragon roar. Then we'll go ahead and flip it over to the axe. You got the crazy screaming tiger head. You can hear the sound effect is a little different because it's more like a clanging axe. Then you get a roaring tiger sound there. So that's pretty much it for it on its own with nothing attached. We'll, we'll go ahead and we will bring in the gear so we can get transformed here. So all you have to do is go ahead and pop it on. So there you go, we are transformed. Still get the same sound there, but if you hold this down. So you get an attack sound there if we do it again. So you get kind of a slightly different ending there to the attack sound. So I'm going to go ahead and take the gear off. We'll shift into the axe. And then we'll transform again. So pretty cool. I like that transformation jingle. Once again, you get the axe clanging sounds. So that's pretty much it on its own, but you have a decent amount of attack sounds there. The transformation jingles are fun, and I think the spear and the axe mode both really work. I think they did a nice job. I like the longer handle. It just kind of gives it some more oomph, makes it feel a little bit more substantial. So I think it's pretty cool. But we're not even done yet. Of course, we have compatibility with the Dawn Blaster, so we're going to move on to check that out. All right, so first up, we're going to try our new gear in the Dawn Blaster here. So it just says new hero. Uh, we will go ahead and try the Zanglass sword. So pretty cool, nothing special, just kind of says Avatars on there. Let's go ahead and bring the Ryuko no Geki back in. So 
So as you can see, you don't need to have the gear attached to get those sounds out, but we'll move on to try some others and we'll go ahead and we'll pop this back on. So I'm just going to try a couple random things. Uh, we'll start with Don Momotaro. So next up, uh, just because I have it handy, we'll do Kyo Ryuju. So you can see it kind of says the first part of the Sentai name. So for Domo Mataro, it said Avataro. For uh, Kyoryuger, it says Juden. So it just kind of has attacks based on whatever the name of the Sentai is, which is pretty cool. Uh, next up, we will try the Don Momotaro Ultra Gear. And then because it's the only six ranger gear that I have right now, we'll do the Kira Clear Two Kaiser gear. I think this thing is a lot of fun. Honestly, I really like the spear mode. I love the axe mode. I think both really work. You have the nice LED section for both modes. You have the dragon for one, you have the tiger for the other. All the sound effects are really fun. The henshin sounds are great. The attack modes are great. And that's just on its own. 
once you bring in the Dawn Blaster and eventually the Spinner later on when that comes out, you're going to get even more functionality out of this thing. So I think this is a ton of fun. Definitely one I would recommend picking up. Don't really have too much to complain about it. It's even a really nice size. Honestly, most roleplay Japanese toys are kind of dinky, but this one's almost two feet long in the spear mode. So I think it's really cool. I really like the axe mode too. It feels weighty. It feels like it's a good size. It's just, it's a really fun little toy here. I like it a lot. I'm really excited for later on when the spinner comes out because I think that's going to unlock a lot of stuff going on. And even just already with the Dawn Blaster, I mean, you have a lot of options. I didn't go through every possible gear sound that you could get out of it because i kind of feel like as we start to get our sixth ranger gears we'll get into that but there's still a lot you can do with it right out of the box so i think that's really cool so like i said definitely recommend it check it out if you can i think it's on in stock on hlj or at least it was the last time i checked uh amazon japan will probably get a couple more of these or you know wherever else you buy japanese toys i don't think this one will be too hard to come by maybe initially just because it's you know the excitement and everybody wants it right away but eventually, I think this thing will be pretty easy to pick up. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.